back together again, Ash. Hello. It's been a long time since we've done one of these. Probably, we, we reckon, what, a, a month? A month, I'd say. Since we've actually right. sat down and recorded one of these videos. Okay. We're doing Shadows of Rinistrad. Um What do you like? So, okay. Uh, I don't like Epiphany of the Drown Yard. No. I, think, I think it's fine in Constructor. I think it's better than people think in Constructor. What about Gyrish Bandit? Gyrish Bandit, um, I do like... 3 mana 3 2 haste. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a good starting point. 3 mana 3 2 haste is a good card. Or a Call of Bloodline. Call of Bloodline's great in a very specific deck. Uh, the Werewolf deck, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of. I think it's good, but you need you need the payoffs. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also Hinterland Logger, which goes on in that deck, uh, but it's not better than Gary Ridge Bandit. Um, I think because you don't have to build around this, this is just a solid card. And Call of Bloodline goes powerful. in a couple of different. Like, if we had a Fiery Temper, I think I'd just take that over this. But it's a dual shot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I'm, I'm not a fan of Throttle I'm a big fan of Stitch Mangler but it's hard to get the deck Stitch Mangler is good in to work well I've found the tempo we decks I've never played with this and I kind of want to try it okay cool I, I have actually played with that card and it's it's it, it's the fine. second effect comes up so rarely I do I do I've, I had that card in my pre-release and it's fine it's not great it's good if you're if you're doing some delirium shenanigans it's a May effect which is mm -hmm. a lot of my opponents missed you know it's really good what guess it's Frogmaster yeah or Alpac Resurgence. Um, now, these two cards are both good individually. They're also the same color. Yeah. Um, we can also easily wheel one of these two rather good wolf cards. <laughs> I don't know about easily wheel. We but did just pass the two drop. So? Uh, so uh, so? The, the, two drop, the two drop is one of the... I, I found the two drop to be one of the better werewolves just very quietly. Yeah, it's just fine. Because, because, because of the, the efficiency of the combat tricks. Sure. A 4-2 trample... That you can activate on, that you can be attacking with on turn four if you mm. if you have like an instant speed spell on turn three, like a Hellpack Resurgence or something. Well, do you want the Hellpack Resurgence then, or the um, Kessler Master? I think just no. I, I was just making a point about about the two drop. Sure. Uh, but I think I would take the Forge Master because we just passed the two drop. I don't want to take a Werewolf payoff card with with instead of just a good werewolf. Just a good Werewolf, right? Um, was kind of where I was going with that, but I was saying it in a very roundabout way. No, that's fine. You need to play Devil's Advocate sometimes. Yeah, uh, we have a Vessel. This isn't a bad card. Bias is good. Red White, I'm not a huge fan of. Nor am I. Um, I think it's the worst of the aggressive decks by mm -hmm. a good margin. How do you feel? If we're, if we're sticking with the green thing, if we're sticking with the werewolf thing. We're not necessarily. like. But like, um, there's nothing to pull us out of that, really. Like, But I don't want either of these like, cards. Both of those cards are fine in like, black-red vampires. Yeah. But they're, just, they're just fine cards. I'll probably just take this or something. Crow and just do like a black red stuff deck. But I don't want to do that. I'd rather take like this or this. I'd rather take aim high, honestly. Eight times is just a good combat trick. Yeah, it is, yeah. I think I want aim high. Okay. I think we can get Just do the werewolf thing. Yeah, well the hell packer surgeon might bite us in the ass. Hey. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like could do. I think overall I'm happier that we took the Forge Master. Dissension in the ranks. No, it's like um, it reads so well, but you're like, wait a minute, no. Yeah, they have to block with two things that are profitable similar to fight size against yeah. each other. Like it, it's it's it looks at first glance, it's it looks a lot like um, the one from the Battle for Zendikar. Target creature, fast target creature. No, the gain control at instant speed. Oh yeah. I forget what it's called. Like it, it, it reads like oh, if you set it up, turn you get a two for one, turn against. But it's so hard to set that up. I want intrepid provisioner. Yeah, the werewolves are humans when, when they're, they're, when side, they're yeah. human. Um, provision is a great little payoff. I'm happy with that. Yeah, absolutely. So now the curve is, is starting to come together. Uh, there's a hinterland logger. Good card. You just you sung his praises not too long ago. Yeah. So the re the, the reason the reason I reckon it's it's so good is that like it it synergizes very well with all the cheap pump spells that you want to be playing in red green anyway. Mm -hmm. And it's it feels like the least fair one. Like except uh, two, two, two one to a four two. Yeah, is huge, huge, and werewolves that like come down early and 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 can be attacking for. The only one that's worse is the Duskwatch Recruiter, the uncommon. Yeah, that yeah. one's ridiculous. It's so scary. I wouldn't mind this either, by the way. Uncanny sure he's good. I think I think I'd rather take the logger. I would agree. I would be inclined to. Agree. Also, it, it sets you up like I, I, that was a softball for you, Dennis, and you just let it pass. Ah, uh, you know, there was we had we had a couple of those. Um, you know, this one and this one. But, okay, so hinterland logger. <laughs> I don't follow. You don't follow? <laughs> <laughs> Hinterland Logger, I hardly even know her. There you go. Confront the Unknown? Confront the Unknown's good. I think it's worse in the Werewolf deck than in any of the other green decks because the, it has the least clues. It's just, just a fine... Like, well, the not, thing is, plus one, plus one, and Investigate is really bad. So you want at least... I think that's really bad. I think it is really bad. I, th I think it's not enough to, to go in the Werewolf deck. I but, think it's good. I think it's green... very good in, in, in most of the other decks. But single green plus two plus two Investigate's insane. 
That's an extremely strong card. Yeah, which means it's hard to... You want at least two, kind of two or three other clue guys. Mm, like, I'm if, ha- if I'm, you have any number of Byway Carriers, I'd probably take it. There's um, so many, like... It's just so much better than the green, blue, and the green, white deck. So what do you want to take, then? Uh, I think... I don't want that Actually, I don't want anything else. So yeah. I, I, I didn't even look at the rest of the package. <laughs> sure. Having a conversation with you about confront the unknown. Hardly even know. Killer, uh, one of the worst werewolves. But it's still not a terrible card. It is. I think it, it's 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 a lot worse than it looks because it's not a three mana two two slash four four. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like it, it, the werewolves are were are human. I would say seventy percent of the time, mm-hmm. which means like it's closer to a three mana like Unless... two, two and a half, two and a half. Uh, yeah, that's good. Um, I still, again, I don't think I want any of those other cards. It's either that or Stoic Builder. Senseless Rage is cool, really good if you can enable it, terrible if you can't. Uh, Scavenger, not in this deck. Stoic Builder. I think we do just want the wolf. It's. We can always cut it. Yeah, I, I'm not I, excited I, about any of these it's, cards. It's, it's definitely the worst card we have so far. Absolutely. Card we have so far. Uh, but that might be about to change. Which way do you want to splash? I'd rather have the White Stone splash. Quarry. It's yeah. foil, too. If we were going to splash, I'll happily take a dual shot. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good in the format. Hello. That came back. That's excellent. For All me. in. <laughs> All in. <laughs> All in on the wolves. Magmatic Chasm. Actually, not. I not a, possibly sideboard. I'm actually not a. a um, oh, well. I'm not a big detractor from these cards. I like Magmatic Chasm. I think it's good. I think it's. It's kind of good in these kinds of decks. Yeah. Like, it's one of those. It's, that's very good in bad decks. Do you know what I mean? Sure, because it's like, a random high upside. High exactly. Yeah. If you if you have a deck that's kind of weak to begin with, then you want cards that can oops, that swingy cards that can just sometimes win you the game out of nowhere. Oh, we don't need this dual shot strictly, do we? Sorry. What do you mean? I want to see things before I bring in a dual shot. I think. Do you? I, I mean, I feel like, like there's enough. I mean, like spirit, spirit tokens, tokens and uh, one one vampires. And yeah. I feel and devils, I suppose those those two cards. I feel like there's enough one ones running around that it's not a terrible main deck. It's not terrible, but I mean, we certainly don't need it yet. No, it's also it's also pretty good in a deck like werewolves. That's so say <clears throat> we're going to be attacking with a, a four four into mm-hmm. something that can like block it. A dual mm-hmm. shot can finish it off and maybe kill a two one like, like in the dream scenario. So we just take all the wolves now, right? Yeah, I mean it's 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 probably significantly more than a tiebreaker. I still don't think we're taking. A, a mediocre werewolf over something like a sure. fiery temper. Or what about something like a Westvale Abbey? Westvale Abbey feels weird in this deck. It does, but Westvale Abbey is randomly win the game, and it's kind of low cost. It's extreme, extraordinarily low cost. If I'm not taking this, I'm taking this probably because it's a strong card too. Well, Darren Duelist. Yeah, it's just it's 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 just kind of a card. Yeah. Do you feel like actually? I I have this inkling that Westvale Abbey's worth some tickets. Oh, I think it is. Uh, which is a decent, you know, tiebreaker. I think I think throwing a random Westvale Abbey into a werewolf deck is probably just wrong. But it's probably I, just fine though. I suppose there's not many double costs. No. Uh, maybe it is just fine. Maybe. Plus, it's, it's also just like regardless of the whole sack five blah blah blahs, you also just make one ones with it. Yeah, that's a, like it costs five mana to do. Yeah, but it's it's free in that it's just a land. Yeah, uh, I I do feel like Westvale Abbey's worth a fair bit though. Uh, go on, throw it in there. Yeah, we'll play. It's a Swiss. We'll have fun. We'll do it. How about Sage of Angel? That seems perfect. Uh, passing the Lightning Axe makes me a little sad. Me too. Um, we might get this back. It's a very strong card. Very, very strong card. Uh, but a Sage of Angel Lore is so good. It's like, mm-hmm. it's, I'd say, I'd say tip, like, it's typically about a 5 mana 3-3 three, three to 4-4 four, four that replaces itself, which is mm-hmm. a great card. Plus, and then if it flips, it's absurd. Cast this on turn 3, cast nothing on turn 4, cast this on turn 5, flips straight away. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very good. Uh... Wolves, 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 wolves. I've already taken the West Valley, but feel free to look it up anyway. Yeah, I'm just taking a look. Online is four takes. Fine. Soul uh, Swallower. Uh, <laughs> <Marvel> <laughs> even knower. I think you upkeep if there are four put three counters on it. So it's four. Okay, so I think this deck is is unlikely to have Delirium. I would agree with that. 99% of the time. That being said, do you want this? Just a random wolf. Now it's a lot better as a 2 3. <laughs> sure, but like, don't take bad cards because yeah. they, It's they, also not. Atrocious. I disagree. I think people shit on this card a little too hard. I think it's really bad though. I thought it was really bad too. I thought that was an intre- I always look at equestrian skill and see intrepid provisioning. Just yeah, me like, too. When I glance at the art, they're very similar. They're just horses, yeah. Um, Do you want to run around my fourth? This is probably fine. Just a random four mana three through trample that might someday. Four mana three through trample. How how bad is that? It's not that bad. 
It's probably better than two mana one two. I think the random upside, like oh, being a wolf. This is the only thing that cares about being a wolf. Yeah. All right. Go on. And if we get like a vessel nascency, I'll just play one of those. Hello. Are you any good? No, you're not any good. Hmm. Yeah, it's not good. Parhand is not the deck for this. This is not the deck for you. Not the card for this deck. No. Um, Kessig Dire Swine is is Borhor. 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 Um, man, this pack's quite bad. Now I'm looking at the pack. What would it be? I'd be taking another deck. You know, the Parhand is a deck unto itself. Yeah, this Scab is a strong is, card. Scab is a strong card. This is a strong card. That's an Ephemerate bad either. The Green White Delirium deck. I think we take the, pack. the Swine. You think we take the swine just random top end? Do okay. want the, I want this. I mean, if you get it on turn one, it flips a lot of the time. Maybe we're just aggressive enough. If we, it plays well with combat tricks. Two two menace plays very well with com combat tricks. That's very true. It's a strong freaking card. That is a great. This is a strong freaking card too, though. That is a really good pickup. I really want this. It's really good. Like yeah. I mean like. I think, okay. So Fiery Temper is a great card. We have no way to enable Madness, which means it's a 3 mana, 3 3, instant speed, deal 3 damage. Fantastic, right? So solid. The upside on Breaking Rider is The upside on Breaking Rider is higher. We're going for an aggressive werewolf theme. What's our downside on Breaking Rider? Is it a 3 mana, 3 3? Yeah. Golden. Uh, three, if, we can, if you can never discard this, which it looks like we're not going to be able to, this is just a, su a pretty good card. It's not insane. Yeah, it's, 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 it's absurd if you madness it. Yeah. Okay, I think I think we do take the Breaking Rider. Yeah, very happy. About Incidentally, it. I already know. I'm all in. I'm all in on where we're Yeah, no, this is this is going extraordinarily well. Well, I I really like the. Uh, we have no tokens, but we want the Hellpack Wolf. Yeah, we do. <laughs> this is um, friggin' sick. Yeah, I mean we're a bit we're a bit short. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> we're a bit we're a bit a slight. Oh no, we're actually not that short in playables. We've 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 got a couple of cards I'd really like. We're short on removal. I I, I yeah, I mean combat tricks. Off an equation. Just smashing your opponent. Yeah, like, it's also good. in a deck like this, where we're just trying to curve out, I'd, I'd almost rather have like the cheap combat tricks than the good. Removal. I will definitely play this. Um, yeah, it's similar to this. I'm looking at that. Yeah, I think it's better. I think so too. Because you can. Play it's it definitely better than Soul Swarmer. This is a good card too. It's just a good card. Uh, it's senseless rage again. Only good if you can. These are better. Yeah, confront the unknown is very good in multiples. Is it? Better? You crack. Uh, I think you crack the clue usually pretty soon after you do. That's it, fair. So. Maybe we do just want the fiend. Now we're at 12 creatures, so we can't just take like another dual shot or something. Well, dual shot, like, I, I don't want more than one, I okay. don't think. Okay. You're taking the confront? I yeah. thought we were talking about the... The fiend, we're already at 12 creatures. And the thing is, I don't even know if I'm going to run the first confront. If it's our, if it's our only clue card, I don't want to run the first Sure. Card. I don't even want to run two confronts as the only clue card. I would have definitely taken the gibbering fiend there. I don't think we're playing it. I've been very underwhelmed by gibbering We're also, fiend. now, actually, to be fair, we're unlikely to hit delirium. So maybe it's it's just not as good. It is just two one that pings them. Two one that pings when it enters the battlefield. Maybe that's not good enough. And it's not a wolf or anything. It's not a wolf. No synergy. So maybe maybe we do want the confront on the off chance we pick up like a byway courier or two, which works well with the provision here. This guy came back. Uh, of course he did. Maybe we just want the explosive emergency apparatus. Yeah, apparatus in case there's no really needed. Something like what what's something that you just have to remove as the werewolf deck. Pyrehand came back too. Um, it kills a it kills a on curve. What's it called? Three mana three two. That gets huge. Tireless tracker. Yeah, it kills a Tireless Tracker on curve. Instantly, I love that card. No one plays Tireless Tracker on curve. You play it on turn four and then play your land. Mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes you don't have a choice. What would be great would be the um, the Cult of Waxing Moon. That would be really good. Oh, the big werewolf. The five, it's, not, it's not a werewolf. It's which, which is the Cult? Five mana, five, four. Then whenever something transforms, you get a wolf. Type. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I know the one. That would be sick. Look at all these freaking werewolves. It sort of, sort of harkens back to um, Cage Breakers. I want, well, I want Arlen Cord or something. Honestly, I just want an Avacyn, and then that's fine. But <laughs> yeah, just, just throw the rest of the draft, play some werewolves. Yeah. Um, this is a fun werewolf deck, isn't it? So far, it's it's very it's very heavy on the theme, which I'm a fan of. Oh uh, yeah, I like that. This Soul Swallower, I don't think is making the cut. In that, I don't think it's actually possible to get. It's currently not actually possible to get Delirium. We don't have any sorceries. We have creatures, we have creatures and instances. Oh, we have one enchantment. We have one enchantment, which we is not going to discard, get and we're, we're, we have no way to get a land in the bin. No. So this is never hitting Delirium. So that is a four mana three three example. And yeah. Give me that Arlen cord. No such luck. Okay. So Village Master is not the card I want. Even though no, it is a wolf. I think Gloomino might be the card I want. Just another three mana three three aggressive card. Probably just good enough, right? Uh, there's something like a Watcher in the Web, which I think is not where we want to be. No, Falkenrath, against Falkenrath Gorger, like one mana two ones and two mana two ones are so similar, and we don't really want two mana two ones. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it doesn't do anything for us madness wise either. No. I just think I just want this. Just a solid just card. A three, three it's bas- in our deck. It's basically equivalent to this. You know what Except I mean? it's not a wolf. Yeah. Which could matter. Okay. Yeah. I can think the blue Widow's probably. We could have splashed Bamba Moon Silver actually off of our thing. I think that's just worse. This card's than... insane. Yeah. We just have. Three, two mana, three, three. Two mana, three, three blocker is absurd. The flip side's great and we'll often have, especially like curving this with, with one of our werewolves or like you can curve that into Imprep- Intrepid Provisioner as well. Uh, Gas of Arsonist. What Big else? Werewolf. Uh, I, I almost want the aim high. Want the aim high. We have one aim high and two confronts. I know you're not. Fa- I'm not a huge fan of the confronts right I now. I think the confronts aren't making the cut. I think it's, I think confronts just fine. I think you're I think you're pooping on plus one plus one in this case too much. But plus one plus one so rarely turns a losing combat into a winning. That's combat. not that's not true. It's, it happens very rarely. Plus two plus two happens so much up more. That it is much more. It is more. Often. Uh, actually, you know what I want? What? I might want true faith sensor. A lot of humans. Oh, actually, mm, but then it loses the thing. Maybe not. As well. Maybe it's just not good enough. I'll take the name high if you want. We're at thirteen creatures. I'll replace it confront the unknown with the name high. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with that. I can get behind that. Uncage fury. Definitely, I think. I'd say that or by Yeah, and that that now that does make, make winning this combats better. a lot as well. Yeah, take the Uncage Fury. Like, Uncage Fury wins games. Doesn't win combats. Just wins games. <laughs> yeah, can do like that on a maybe a, like a flipped sage or like a, or like this is a four three or like you know, it's ten damage one of these like mm, or a provision a provision a hit something just close out the game. Yeah, no, I, I like that a lot. I think we're getting to the point where we can cut the confronts, but we are sh- a little short on playables. Yeah, we want another creature too. We want some more uh, nice four drop werewolves. We want that um solitary hunter. That yeah, we're good. we're missing some top end, which isn't necessarily a terrible thing. Yeah, okay, Shuri's top end. You know what I mean? Like yeah. <laughs> last play you cast in the game a lot of the time. What do we hit? Commit the killer. I would not mind another duelist. Or a gloom widow. I think I want to actually duelist because we're like I say missing ways to close the game. Mm-hmm. This is perfect. I think. Yeah, duelist. This card's great, by the way. Welcome to the fold. Yeah, no, I I was toying. I don't I don't really play. I'm not playing standard at the moment, mostly because I can't afford to keep up with it. Uh, so I'm kind of. <coughs> Game trail. <laughs> maybe, maybe. This is a good card. Or Makes these a lot better. Suddenly, uh not that much better. It's also just a format fifty human. Also fine. Yeah, I think it's good. It's just a good card. Um, but uh, yeah, I was, I was toying with the idea Hello. of a Grixis Madness you. control deck. Quilled Wolf is a wolf. Is a wolf has upside in the late game. Is a two drop. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm a big fan. Done. Right. Kinda. I, I would like to replace <clears throat> the confronts. Well, they're a little better now. They are slightly better, but still not that much better. And there's two of them, which makes them a little better. Right, what's this other ability? The one that's super weird that never happens? Oh, you get to sack three clues to do so? At the beginning of your end, each end step, if you sacrifice three or more clues this turn, you may put a creature card from your hand on the battlefield. Take your pick your wolf. Making stuff indestructible? I think that's so good. This? Yeah. yeah I, 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 I think that's probably better, better than how than, than, than the toughness? Yeah, I, th- I think that ability... In a deck that's 99% werewolves... Who even cares anymore? Um, yeah, what? so we can cut a. That's nice to have, actually. Oh, cut the stupid. Did we cut the four th- mana three three trample already? Yeah. Uh, I could see losing a confront. A if confront... we lose one, we might as well lose both. I could see losing a convicted killer as well. I like having lots of wolves, though. I know it, is, it is really good. Like the the the, the synergy element's nice. But... Still, no, I would probably cut this. This might be more I actually prefer that to, that to the convicted killer. Maybe, maybe, maybe I too. might be wrong about that. I just feel like with the, the density of combat tricks. If this ever flips back, it's just dead. You know? Sure, but we do have that we do have that um afterburn as effect where we can cast, you know, three werewolves in a row and then just skip our first turn and be like, but up Yeah. Um What is the other thing? Sorry, there is a, a card you Did you just confront? cut a confront? No, you we we left to confront them. We left two confronts still in. What did you have to, what did you just cut? I cut Oh, the convicted. Killer. The convicted. Killer, of course. How many wolves slash werewolves do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is Ulrich kindred, kindred not uh, wolf? Is it not a No, I don't think he did. Yep, bang on. Uh, now we can lose. We don't want the convicted killer. That's not worth it, don't want either. No, we can. We can cut both the confronts with the killer back in. That seems bad. The thing is, I, hmm, okay, if you're cutting confronts... I kind of want to keep the confronts, to be honest. It's confront- just a little, a little bit of velocity. Yeah. It's got, you know, it's got, like, I know you don't like confronting them, but at worst case scenario, it's got 
It's plus one, plus one, draw a card for three mana. Uh, worst, 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 worst case scenario. Okay, so we need, need to make a couple of cuts. How good is Gas Staff Arc? It's probably not the best. It's actually fine. It's good. Not, it's not bad top end. It is decent top end. Um, I'm just looking at, like... like all Widow. of this All of this is rock solid. Yeah, just really strong cards. Like Gloom Widow is whatever, but... I thought it's three mana, three, three. Which is great. No synergy with our deck, but... It, the synergy with our deck is it's the three mana three three. Oh, we also have a random West Valley, by the way, as an ace in the hole. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe. Okay, here, here's what I'm thinking, right? The it combat is. tricks. The combat tricks work best with the with the cheap werewolves with some sort of like evasion trample. Sure. Things like that. Works well with the one drop. Mm, I don't think we need the one drop. I think I think the one drop's on the chopping block for me. Okay, what we could do then? How many cards have we got? Twenty four. One to cut. What we could do is cut. The. Messenger and the Confronts, which leaves us at we'll 21. Up to plus 2. We can put back an Arsonist. We can and put an Arsonist and, and maybe the Explosive Apparatus. I'd rather put in the Reduced Ashes than the Explosive Apparatus, I think. I don't want this card, but if we're going to have I think one, it's, No, I think that's too bad. I think it's too slow. So maybe we don't want either of them. Um, I think I'd, I'd like to just do this, honestly. And just have that deck. Yeah. Look at that. That's a beautiful curve. 16 creatures, 7 combat tricks. Is 7 combat tricks too many just to begin with? No. <laughs> this is way better than a combat trick, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, six combat tricks—is that too many? No, mm. I think that's fine. That's probably fine. And then just random ace in the hole. Yeah, which I don't think is ever going to happen. But... Never know. All right, let's do it. Add some basics. Eight of each. Yeah. It's not really going to be a problem. Only the breakneck rider. We only need double red <clears throat> once. Yeah. Once. Okay. I'm very happy with this deck. It's cool. It's it's very on rails. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love that we went all in on the walls. Yeah, it worked out. It worked out for us. Perfect. Let's do it.